Hey guys, welcome back. Just thought I'd do it quick on the table. Uh, don't have much new to show you guys today, but uh, we're going to take a look at uh, a 3D set that I picked up uh, on Mercari. Uh, I have painted my Frostgrave Tribals, and I have uh, painted some uh, Rubicon vehicles that I've built. Although I think this one might be a Warlord Games vehicle. Uh, and I think I've got a couple of extra miniatures here I've been working on in my most recent lot of miniatures that I'm painting. All right, so let's take a look at them. Okay, so first up, I think we'll just take a look at these. These are some of my newer miniatures. I think it's from a company called Heresy Labs. They were part of a Kickstarter. So one of them is kind of a town crier. I don't know what this guy is. He has some kind of body parts or foot or something in his hand. Let's see if we can get some light on that. So maybe you can make them out now a lot better. So I finished those. And the other is here. Which is a rat catcher slash seller. So, it appears he catches the rats and then sells them. Well, let's see what else we got. Okay. So, these are some of the tribals from Frostgrave Ghost Archipelago. These things gave me a run for my money. Because there was a lot of times I just wanted to give up and quit. There was a lot of them. Uh, and... Yeah, it required a lot more detail than I thought. But I am kind of pleased with how they came out. So I did five colors. Those are yellow. I did some reds. As you can see here. So they've got some of them I put mask on. Some of them I didn't. Uh... Didn't have a lot of poses to choose from, but I kind of worked with what I had. Then I did some blue. As you can see here. Or light blue. And some more. And then I think the last color is green. And this is what you see here. So, I mean, in the end, I kind of like it. Right? I kind of like them. They actually came out pretty good. Just kind of glad to be done with them. Okay. Let's look at these. These are actually, this is actually a, a 3D set I got of like a I think it's like a brewing tank this is a, simply a fireplace or a uh, yeah fireplace but this is a brewing tank with its spigot and I'm actually going to use this again in my dwarven set I think it'll make a nice little refreshing point for the dwarven mines when they come up the miners can come up and have a cold brew this is a some logs for the fireplace. This is some kind of oven or pot. And then you get this. I got this. Uh, I don't know. I guess these fireplace logs with an axe and things. So all of these were 3D printed from what I understand. Some guy was selling them on uh, Etsy. I got the whole set. I think I paid $20 for all of it. They were like $10 each. Uh, you can see these striations that you get from the 3D printing is what I talk about a lot. Uh, but for stuff like this, like I said, for terrain, you know, it doesn't really bother me that much. And then let's just take a look at the vehicle. So first up is this British command truck, all painted. You guys should have seen the video where I built this. 
So this is the finished painted truck. You know, as I told you when I built it, these are not that big. But, I mean, it kind of grows on you. I did like the way it painted up. And this is a Japanese Type Ha tank. I'm not sure. I think I did a build video on this. So you will be able to see this tank built. Uh in an upcoming video but I didn't show the paint job so you are actually seeing it painted before you see the actual assembly I really like this I like the uh, Japanese tanker with his white gloves and goggles and things so but that has been it guys that's been probably the last week to 10 days worth of painting I haven't done a lot of painting you know, I've just been kind of, I don't know, kind of up and down with the painting. So, I was kind of hesitant to even do a, a on-the-table video because I didn't really think I had that much to show. But, decided to show you guys what I had. I am working on a, a episode of After Painting. So, I've got some videos in there that uh, you guys will see when that airs. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, on the table. And uh, take care, and God bless. Mm -hmm.